Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new Hardcore Wars. I'm back with Sean, Robert, and Kim for a 2v2 battle to the death while being surrounded by many, many, many zombies. We're on a custom map, and this time, with it being 2v2, we've added a couple new rules. Robert and Sean have to attack first. Me and Kim are on the defensive until they take their first shot and the last team standing wins. This one was a lot of fun. We had so many different random encounters. So if you like the video, make sure to subscribe because only a small percentage of you actually are. And I hope you all enjoy it. Three, two, one, begin. I'm just getting everything in the left one. Let's go. Oh, oh, there's mud. Mud. <gasps> mud! I'm trying to kill you both in one day. Bring it on. Dead meat. Dead meat. You can still us. Good Let's luck. get out of here. Let's, Let's get go. out of here. We'll use the sun to blind them. So Kim and I get a little bit of a head start and some starting gear as the survivors instead of the raiders, but we immediately just decided to make a break for it and hit up the gas station, grabbing a bunch of food. There were golden apples just sitting around everywhere. So we were pretty well fed from the beginning. This was basically all the food we needed. We broke some spawners to secure our area, crafted up some basic armor, and then started looting. First, this little carriage area behind the factory, and then after killing some cows, going into the factory itself. There was a ton of treasure in here, and a bunch of loot and we thought we were ahead until we saw that diamonds notification pop up sean and robert already had been finding some really powerful gear i cleared all the spawners out of the area but we decided this was not a good place to hold up for the first night it would be too many just areas of attack so we headed out kim got stuck in a little bit of mud and then ran in towards this hospital <laughs> we're taking over the white house, house. <laughs> yeah. oh it's a hospital Right. I've seen zombie right. movies. This is not a smart place to be. We're able to barricade ourselves in the gift shop and break all of these shelves to get all of the books we could ever need if we could find an enchanting table, as well as potions, arrows, bows, and the most important thing we had in the entire playthrough. Can we play music? I'm hey! Oh. oh, hey, look at that! Yeah! Party time! Party time. Party time, it's the end of the world, and who cares? Okay, I don't know if that's attracting the zombies. How do I make it stop? How do I make it stop? How do I make it stop? <laughs> and as Kim and I were discussing strategy as the night was coming to a close, we saw this message from Sean, and the zombies were gonna mutate. The first mutation was straightforward. It was going to be a blood moon, every night no more sleeping through the night and hundreds of zombies spawning around us whenever the sun went down luckily when we logged back in it was daylight so we started clearing the second floor of the hospital and things got serious jeez for farts <laughs> wait that's a thing <laughs> yes <laughs> that's so dumb all right that's the dumbest thing that's the dumbest thing i've ever seen in minecraft but you know what i love it <laughs> Same. <laughs> After that, we found some diamonds, which was great, and then went out front to tame our horses to have just a mobility advantage over the raiders. Some of these doors are open. They definitely looted over here. They might be in this area, actually. We went from house to house, looting what we could, and I picked up a lot of this barbed wire to be able to block off areas and do damage. And then we had our first encounter with the bandits. It's showing them over there. Hi guys! Oh, they're right there. Hey guys! <laughs> we should move! We should move! We should move! On horseback though, we were moving almost twice as fast as they were. There was no way they could possibly catch us. Should we live should we live out, out of the village? Out of town? Uh, I don't know. I think there's so much good loot that I wanna miss out on. And if we let them stay there, they're gonna get so you see already how much crazy good things we yeah, found. Like they had diamond shields, which we really should upgrade. We only have wooden ones. Yeah, so I would kind of see if we can go get inside at least one more building. You want to loop around and then we'll go this yeah. way? Yeah, yeah. Because we have, we have mobility. They yeah, can't, we do. They can't, like, catch us. We circled around the entire town, coming in from the opposite side, going into this blue building and doing a little bit of looting. We came up to the second floor, found a bunch of torches and a chest, and realized, oh wait, this was their base. Once we knew we had evicted them from their night one base, we set ourselves up with some claymores on the top of the stairs, and I found a taser in one of the drawers. And this thing, let me tell you, this was the thing that I so desperately wanted to use for the entire session. And the payoff was 
Chef's Kiss. Claymores are a little less reliable, as they did blow up the stairs, which was nice, but there were a ton of zombies, and one of them had just set it off. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! There is so many! There are so many zombies! Oh, careful with the, these claymores are gonna kill us. Can you disarm the claymores? Do 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 oh, oh, no. No, you cannot disarm the claymores. So, I decided to sit down with Kim and have a nice dinner. Oh, hey. nice. Hey. hey. Only we would uh, eat cake in a time like these. Yeah, you know, just like, not like anything's <laughs> going on downstairs. It's totally fine. Oh. Totally fine. There are so many mobs down there. And as the sun rose for day two, it was mutation time again. This time, zombies were a little bit faster, the spawn rate was increased, and their ability to detect us was increased. So they'd be able to find us from a greater distance. Oh no, they're even oh. faster. Yeah, and they're inside where, like, there's so many with more horses. With that increased spawn rate, being able to get to our horses was somewhat problematic. We spent the better part of the day just stuck on the roof with this giant swarm around us, just trying to figure out how to get out there of here. Oh. Hey, my friends! Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Die, please. Die, die. die, please! That'd be wonderful! Get on the roof, dummies! Guys, get on the roof! <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> oh, Sean, Rob is gonna die. We have to return. Hey, you gotta go back. Your friend, he's behind you. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. This is hilarious. Look at the award. Oh, oh, the oh, horses. they're gonna leave them away for the horses. Yes, that's huge. Okay, once the raiders were gone and we realized that the zombies would only target one of us at a time. Kim and I came up with this idea of trading off the zombies aggro while one of us would run into the garage to grab the horse and then lead everything away while the other player would go in and grab the horse. It did eventually work as we used this extra little quartz bridge to just run over, grab a horse, and I booked it, getting all of the zombies to track me and leading over towards a building that was either a high school or a hospital. We kept calling it both during the video. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a high school. Right. Okay. We need to block up the spaces that they can get between. We barricaded our way in, dug through the walls to get up towards the second floor, blocked off the staircase, and looted as much as we could, seeing the bandits across the street just out of range for them to be able to hear us, and we weren't sure whether or not they saw us either. So it was this tense standoff with us just placing the Canadian flag and threatening to burn it, and I don't think they actually even heard us at all. We did find some potions in the science lab. Kids were obviously brewing up some illegal things here, and that was gonna give us an edge in any fight. Day four, no mutation that night. We were lucky. It was more that we were gonna have our first encounter and our first combat. We spent a little bit of time getting additional blocks so we'd be able to bridge over the horde throughout all of the space, and just kept our eye on the raiders, seeing what they were going to do. Once they jumped down off of their roof, we went up onto ours to have the better vantage point and the high ground. Yeah, we make pistons and uh, turn our arrows into knockback arrows. So if we hit them, they go flying. Wait, that's a thing? Yes, that's a thing, and it works really, really well. We should get that. So, pistons, and then you make a knockback arrow? Yeah, you make a piston, and then you um, put four arrows and a piston together, and you get the knockback arrow. Four knockback, knockback arrows. It's Spectral really good. Spectral arrow, what? Explosive, what? diamond... With a goal of, we need to make some pistons, I grabbed the redstone that was sitting out all across the floor and looked across the street to a building with a cobblestone roof. That would have all we would need and we wouldn't need to mine down underground to get cobblestone. But as I started to bridge over, we had some visitors. Okay, I see now. Hey, my mans! Oh, neighbor! How's it going? How's it going? Oh, Hi, neighbor! Hey, hey, hey. hey I'm the sort of guy! Down here! How's it going? Hey! hey how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, nice blood moon. It's, it's going well. How about you? Hey. Have you attacked those knights? Does that count as... Does your little visit count as attacking? Oh, uh, hey, hey, Quick's right here. Quick's right here. Oh, Roba. Roba. Hello. 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 Please back up. No, we haven't touched you yet. That was just... Really no, that was an accident. That was an accident, I promise. You can't shoot at me. Thank you for the arrow, though. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Kim. Oh, get, 
Kim, I fell. I need blocks. I need I need blocks. I fell. I fell. Oh, oh. I fell. I fell. Kim, I fell. Look, look. There. Uh, so they um okay they are, now they're in the blue house. They're taking over the blue house. They're taking over the blue house with all the stuff that we left there. Oh, I really wish those claymores were still there. Oh yeah. That, oh no. Look at the roof. Look at our roof. Oh no. Oh no. That's um. Do you see what Sean was hold holding? Yep. 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 That's a problem. But just in case I didn't, could you tell me? <laughs> he got that uh, thing that makes you come back alive. He had a totem of undying? That's right, a totem of undying, which meant when we would kill Sean, he would instead be instantly resurrected and brought back to half health. That changed the balance of this fight. My man's was going to be far more lethal if he knew he could take bigger risks. They're preparing to attack. You want to come on and, and make this happen or you just got to stand there and watch all day? I don't think you heard me. Consider that my response. We spent the night at the max of the voice range just yelling insults back and forth at each other and I'm pretty sure neither one of us could hear what anybody said. But honestly, they do they Sean has like some type of knockback arrows or something. I, I know he has. He always makes something. You know what we really need though? You know what we really need, Kim. Here. What here. what is that? Come here, Kim. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Hey! I believe in us too. We're gonna leave that running. But as we kept watch on the raiders across these bridges that we had set up throughout the night, Kim and I talked strategy and vibed out. Everybody was too into the combat for another mutation, so on day five, the battle began. I can shoot you, right? Oh, they backed off. Just checking, you know, just checking for reasons. Come on, Sean, bridge over, my man. My mans, my mans, where you going, my mans? <laughs> If uh, they're, if they're coming. Let's go up to the roof. My man, this is your final warning. You step on that roof, we are at war. Okay, there are zombies on the roof. There are two zombies on the roof. Don't you do it. Okay, they're, they're fighting. They're fighting. Get ready. They're coming. I downed all of my potions for this fight, just blowing everything right away. I had strength, haste, and regeneration. I was ready for a one-on-one -on -one combat. I am tempted to go take him. He does have the totem, but he doesn't know how much I've been training for MCC. I can do this! For us to follow them, so we will go into the trap. There's, there's a claymore on it. So whatever okay. you do, do not go on that bridge. Don't go there's on that bridge. Roof. Yeah, the bridge from the other roof. You see there? The wooden one? Yeah, I see it. Once they retreated, I ran over to the house with a cobblestone roof, trying to get the materials so Kim could craft his knockback arrows. Unfortunately, the roof was all made out of slabs and wasn't what we actually needed. And then I got got. I know, I know they're trying cut. to trick us for that. They're trying to get us to, to take that. And I'm not taking that. Whoa! Oh no! Oh the no! Oh no! That was the knockback Run, arrow! Run. Oh no! I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs> he just walked in his own claymore! Idiots! I quickly mined my way back in and set my position on the wall, but now that they had attacked, combat was free. They had drawn first blood, but I had survived and now either one of us could go on the offensive. We spent the day watching from the roof of the building and realized we needed to move. They had entrenched themselves too hard and we needed to get them out of that base if we wanted a fair chance at a fight. So we ran off the opposite side of the ceiling and made our way into a house that looked pretty well in good condition. Finding some weird notes and digging down in the foundation, everything seemed just a little too peaceful, a little too quiet. And then we made our way up into the attic. Oh, really? There's oh. a second floor. There's an attic. Are you kidding me? No. There's there's something there's something uh, a little scary going on up here. Oh my goodness! What have we just <laughs> found? What? <laughs> what? Ooh, more throwing oh. knives. Okay, so we're in the house of a serial killer, uh, but it's the zombie apocalypse, so that's fine. We don't need to worry about that anymore. He had a chainsaw on his ceiling. That's convenient. And then. Yep. 
Ooh! Quick oh! Quick blew up. Robert oh just blew up. Oh. 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 This oh. changes everything. <laughs> it does change everything. <laughs> Okay, so oh, what man. do we do now? What? How does that change our game? I have one horse left. You do? I have a you horse. You kept that hidden from me? Is I have iron? one horse. We were going on the offensive. 2v1, even if Sean had a totem, meant that we could attack from multiple angles and he could likely only damage one of us at a time. It was time for us to strike. Uh, it is Ooh. approaching daytime. Ah, uh, right before uh, sunrise, huh? Man died. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad to have you on my team. Whew. Whew. Uh, Man's just died just like that. Oh, okay. Uh, like what? <laughs> he has a predator drone! <laughs> I hope has, so. I hope, he's, a... I hope he's just hired there to get some angles for Sean and not, not anything else. He has a predator drone. So, here's my thought. What if we just hop roof to roof and start heading back over towards the the hospital and just... We have, we have numbers now, so we can... Attack from multiple yeah. angles, and we can kind of we can we can keep them busy, right? Like that's yeah, yeah. that's potential. I want to get that play. Yeah, actually, since it's just morning now, just get away get away from the herd as soon as possible, so we can maybe get some good stuff. There's nothing right here. Do you want to just book it? We made a quick detour off to a forest since we saw some gravel paths that we were able to mine up to be able to get the flint to craft the last few arrows that we needed. On the docks, we found a barrel that had some fish and a fishing rod, which I grabbed because I wanted to just fish Sean up to the roof and bop him down to the ground, killing him instantly. That would be amazing if I could have pulled it off. We made our way back towards the factory that we had raided on night one, we pillared up to the ceiling, torched it up, covered it, and used this as our stronghold so we could have strong line of sight that Sean wouldn't be able to sneak up on us. We spent some time fighting and teasing each other in the chat, and I totally didn't run the radio gag into the ground at all. What are you talking about? If Sean got us like this, that would yeah, be Yeah, so that awful. would be the worst. Okay, <laughs> let's let's not let him. If we, if, we, if we win, we have to style on him and, and place down the yeah. thing and just immediately start dancing. And then Sean tried his best to sound threatening. My man's is many, many things. Threatening is not one of them. But as the sun rose one week into the zombie apocalypse, the most dangerous mutation yet had finally been activated. It was time for them to join the NBA. Uh, my inventory was actually in upstream, if you like. What was that? Oh, they're jumping! Sound? They're jumping! Oh, they're they jumping. can jump! Oh my goodness. He doesn't stop! Oh my god. Sean, what the there. hell? What has he done? <laughs> How could he? They, they, they keep jumping up here, and they're running really fast. We gotta get off this roof. Zombies can now jump up onto basically any roof, so we had to stay on the move. No more staying secure in just one place. You had to outrun them now. We ran back towards the high school to get up onto the roof, and that's when I saw Sean going by on his horse. So I tried to activate plan fishing while he was taunting us. Come on down, I wanna talk to you guys. I got more than enough burgers to stay out here all night. Somehow when I went to go help Kim, Sean had snuck behind me with his horse and had gotten onto the roof of the high school. I'm on the, t on the roof of the hospital with Sean. Okay. Right we got up. into a quick fight and I was able to kill the horse with my bow and stave him off. He went downstairs and almost certainly set a trap. So Kim and I regrouped and tried to see which room he was in digging through the roof to go get him. What was that? Oh, that was, that a, was trap. a trap. That was a trap. There was a trap. There was a trap. It, it was, was trapped. It was trapped. You were right. Kill oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. He's Where? right under us now. Under us now. Where I'm running under here. Bottom floor of this of this side. Do you want to go get him? Oh yeah. Let's <gasps> do it. That's his totem. That's his totem. Let's go get him. With his totem popped, he was even more vulnerable. And 2v1, there was no way we could lose. So we went down into the second floor of the high school, clearing it room by room, trying to find Sean and just 
burn him down with as much damage from both of us as we could. Only one of us needed to outlive him for our team to survive, so we resigned to the fact that one of us might make the sacrifice play. But as it started getting towards the night, we had to set up additional barricades for any blocks on the side of the building because the zombies could just Mario leap their way from one spot to another, making their way up almost constantly. With this whole jumping thing, you know that he's hiding like in a room somewhere, whereas we're on a roof in the open and attracting so many zombies. Him and I resumed our nightly ritual and then spawned the final horse that I had. And when it was super slow, we thought maybe we could set a trap for Sean and he would go for this thing. It's a bird. Well, if that doesn't make the zombies happy, nothing will. How's your not going? <laughs> Great! We vibin'. I I cannot tell you how much I want to tase Sean. <laughs> that would be so funny. Kinda of tempting to see how how much damage it does. But no, but what if it's like a kill? The last thing I want to do is kill you. <laughs> that would be awkward. Right? Like I need to tase him. And only exclusively him. With everything set on the morning of day eight, it was go time. So my only thought is maybe we can go there and maybe that's where he is or he's like inside. I bet you he's inside that water tower. Yeah. That, yeah, that's that a... feels like a Sean play to be inside yeah. that water tower right now. So how much food do you have? I want to make sure we uh, have. Including the five pork chops you've given me? Mm -hmm. Five pork chops and a burger. Up to the blocks and ran across the bridge, trying to root Sean out of his place in the blue house or potentially the water tower. We're very careful for claymores as we're on either of these bridges, making our way across, and then we saw him. Nothing. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. This way. Oh. This way. This way. Oh, he's running. Me. He's running right here. Ooh, I almost jumped off the roof there. I'm trying to fish him. Come on, Sean! That's Where is you. He? Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, he's, he's going to the water tower. Water tower. I knew it. I knew it. I'm gonna tase him. Oh no! That's that's a big explosion. I'll just watch from back here. Uh, he, he went out on the backside. Oh no! How low is he? If you come in here, you'll be dead too. Oh, that's So that's basically a draw. I know I live longer than Sean by about a half of a second, but that doesn't count. We're probably gonna have to do this again to see who actually is the winner. And maybe this time, maybe this time I get to be the aggressor. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Check out everybody else's videos. Links to them are down in the description and maybe support me on Patreon so I can do other crazy projects like this. Hope you all enjoyed it. Be good to each other and I'll talk to you next time.